The likelihood of living to see your 100th birthday is growing. Are you excited for your party? Not one bit. There are expected to be over 1 million centenarians soon. That being said, it remains a relatively rare feat, unless you live in a blue zone. There are pockets around the world dubbed blue zones, where the life expectancy is 10 to 20 years higher on average. Residents reach 100 years old or more, and not only look, act, and feel younger, but live out their final days in excellent health. But what exactly are all these people doing differently? The people of the Blue Zones provide some of the best examples of what it means to live a truly healthy lifestyle, because clearly whatever they're doing is working. And for all the skeptics out there, it's not just good genes. Old estimates place the heritability of our lifespan between 15 to 30%, and newer estimates are placing it as low as seven. In other words, we have more control than we think. So today we're taking a look at the Blue Zones and the cute old people that live within them to see more about what a truly healthy lifestyle actually looks like. In Newsflash, it's a lot different than our modern lifestyle, as I'm sure no one is surprised to hear. Big thank you to Magic Spoon for sponsoring today's video. Were you one of those kids who loved waking up on the weekend, rushing downstairs and watching cartoons while eating cereal? Well, as you guys know, I was not one of those kids. We did not consume fun cereal in my household. Not that it mattered because obviously I was quite chubby anyway. <laughs> which is possibly for the best because most cereal you find at the grocery store is one of the worst things you could eat at any time of day, let alone for breakfast. <laughs> but thankfully, Magic Spoon is changing the game. Zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. With great macros and great tasting flavors, Magic Spoon is a nostalgic blast from the past and a fun high protein treat. You can use their cute custom box builder and mix and match any combination of flavors you like. And they're always coming out with new flavors. Right now they have maple waffle and cookies and cream along with their classics, blueberry, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cinnamon, and cocoa. If you're craving cereal without the sugar rush, you should give Magic Spoon a try. Go to magicspoon.com slash Kiana to build your very own box and try today. And be sure to use the promo code Kiana at checkout to get five bucks off your order. Magic Spoon backs their product with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. That's magicspoon.com slash Kiana. Thank you so much to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. And back to the video. The five locations on earth with the highest percentage of centenarians equals the Blue Zones. The Blue Zones are found in Ikaria, Greece, Okinawa, Japan, Sardinia, Italy, Loma Linda, California, and Nicoya, Costa Rica. On the isolated Greek island of Ikaria, nearly one out of three people live to be 90 years old. I think one of the first things that comes to mind when you hear people are living to 100 is what do they eat? Well, Ikarians eat a variation of the Mediterranean diet with fish, poultry, and red meat in lesser amounts. Also, Ikarians love their wine. <laughs> The Mediterranean diet is one of the most well-studied patterns of eating shown to lead to good health and protect from chronic disease. But as we'll see, the centenarians all eat a little differently depending on what's grown locally, with a few major commonalities that line up with evidence-based recommendations on what to eat. The centenarian diet. 1. Their diet consists almost entirely of whole foods. 2. Most of these foods are locally grown vegetables, legumes, grains, fruit, and herbs. 3. Fermented foods were very common. 4. Meat was consumed by almost every blue zone, but plants were king. 5. Historical records and lifelong body weight indicate centenarians don't tend to overeat or undereat. Their energy balance and weight remained mostly stable throughout much of their lifespan. Scientists speculate that the dietary fountain of youth of these centenarians can't be explained by just one or two elements, but rather the benefits come from a lifelong pattern of eating nutrient, fiber, and antioxidant-rich meals, while staying away from processed, fried, and sugary foods linked with the Western diet and higher levels of chronic disease. In our modern world, it seems that we get caught up in the minor details at the expense of the bigger picture. We immediately want to know the magic ingredients and the optimal blend of protein, fat, and carbs, which diet is best, keto, vegetarian, pescatarian. We want to boil everything down into lists of can and cannot eat. But I think that the centenarians, as you'll see in their varied 
relatively varied diets show that this obsession is probably unnecessary. I mean, how many years have we been terrified of carbs only to find out that that's totally wrong? But what we can say with certainty is that a healthy diet is clearly made up of an abundance of real food, probably a lot more than we're all currently eating today regardless of the content of the rest of our diet. And though diet is extremely important, it's only one part of living a truly healthy lifestyle, which is why, although I've included diet in all the sections, because I feel like that's what everybody wants to know, I've also focused on the rest of this stuff because it's equally important. The Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica is known for its beautiful scenery, surf, and its old people an unusually high number of centenarians. Until recently, the Nicoya Peninsula was mostly cut off from the rest of Costa Rica. With very little development here, the lifestyle of Nicoyans remains somewhat frozen in time. Like the Icarians, Nicoyans eat lots of locally grown food, beans, rice, eggs, tortillas, and abundantly grown fresh fruit. This is Jose Pissarro. He's over 100 years old. And yet, he's totally mobile reads newspapers without glasses, almost never gets sick, and is extremely mentally sharp. Jose doesn't need to rely on a caregiver or help from others, but he says his family is his support system and the most important thing in his life. Centenarians take their family and social lives very seriously. Strong family relationships, a sense of community, and plenty of social support is a commonality in people who live to be 100 years old. At 109 years old, Dona Panchita is the oldest person living in Costa Rica. Her 168 direct descendants are living in Costa Rica. And she still receives daily visits from her 93-year-old son, Jose. Mama. Ah. Mama, I you. Yeah. Yeah, A poll of 100 people who turned 100 in 2010 noted that more than 80% of them communicate with a friend or family member daily. Humans are deeply social, tribal creatures, and hundreds of studies support the idea that not only is social connection and feeling like you're part of a tribe essential for mental health, but also even physical health. Italy, the home of pizza, pasta, and the largest population of 100-year-old men in the entire world. In Sardinia, there are nearly 10 times more centenarians per capita than the U.S. And though the entire island lives much longer than average, only one remote region high in the mountains of Sardinia is classified as a blue zone. And interestingly, here in Barbasia, the phenomenon of truly exceptional longevity is restricted only to males. The diet of Sardinians is not quite what you imagine when you think of Italian cuisine. Instead, barley, goat's milk, sourdough, wine, and in-season herbs and vegetables are the staples of those living in the towns here. And though their diet helps to predict why Sardinians live longer, healthier lives than the general Italian population, research showed it to only be a minor factor, differentiating the Barbasians. It turns out employment status was the biggest predictor, specifically working as a shepherd. The shepherds would walk up to 16 kilometers each and every day through the steep, rocky terrain. Their work required them to move very frequently and very often, but not necessarily very strenuously. Living in a mountainous village versus a flat plain was more likely to result in long life, along with a longer mean distance from the workplace, leading researchers to hypothesize that lifetime overall energy expenditure was the key factor in elevating the longevity of the male shepherds of Barbasia. Moving naturally, frequently, and often is a core part of the Blue Zone's lifestyle. Being sedentary is virtually unheard of. And many of these 100-year-olds are known for their exceptional mobility, with many of them working physical jobs and walking long distances well into their years. A stark contrast to today's desk job and commuter lifestyle where most activity is deliberately planned if it happens at all. Our health is clearly so dependent on our bodies moving. There is an intricate connection there. Re my fascia video. <laughs> which points to the value of all the little bits of the activity we get throughout the day. Walking, cleaning, parking a little further away, taking the stairs. It's all those little things that add up over the course of a lifetime uh, or don't. <laughs> I remember when I first started counting my steps, how much more motivated I was to move because I saw what a difference those little teeny things made over the course of a day. Next, we'll travel to Japan to Okinawa Island. Similar to the other Blue Zones, the Okinawans eat a variety of local foods, such as a sweet potato and bitter melon. 
Tofu is one of their most popular foods, and Okinawans eat a lot of it. Another similarity among the Blue Zones is that not only are these older people mobile, but working. In fact, many Okinawans retain their jobs late into their 90s. Their average age is 91 years old. They're still working as a dancer, a tofu producer, and an association president. Having a job or having a regular hobby or activity to do gives a sense of purpose, something Okinawans call ikigai. We feel purpose when we have a sense of direction and are engaging in activities that we find valuable and that impact people other than ourselves. While the goal for many around the world is to get to the age of 65 and retire, it may be beneficial to continue finding something that gives you purpose and keeps you engaged. I forget my age when I work. I think if I don't have that, I can't live. <laughs> Loma Linda, California. Unlike the other Blue Zones, Loma Linda is not on a remote island, but instead just an hour's drive away from LA. In Loma Linda, you'll find a group of people who live on average five to 10 years longer than other Americans. Loma Linda has the highest concentration of Seventh-day Adventists in the United States. This branch of the Protestant church focuses heavily on health and overall well-being, and they share many of the same longevity habits as the other Blue Zones, one of which is their approach to stress management. Stress is unavoidable in life for all of us. However, we all differ in how we handle it. In the case of the centenarians of the Blue Zones, they have lifestyles and routines that minimize stress and maximize rest and rejuvenation. Also, when studied, centenarians show an emotional tendency to react with low anxiety intensity to stressful conditions. In other words, they are simply better at handling stress. Almost all centenarians have in common, which is nothing bothers them. It's not necessarily that they have had particularly stress-free lives. The thing is that when they encounter a stressful situation, they cope with it really well. When looking at the centenarians in Loma Linda, we can see they have a generally positive attitude, live a stress-free life, and always have a full day of rest on Saturdays for the Sabbath. Their faith also gives them hope and somewhere to turn to mentally when they feel that things are getting a little bit tough. Uh, I think one has to have a good mental attitude. I think that's hi, uh, high on the list. I think you've got to look at the positive things. The, there's the negative things of life and there's the positive things. And you've got to concentrate on the positive. It's somewhat counterintuitive that as society progresses and we enjoy all the benefits that come from that, we seem to be living lives that are more and more disconnected from what is actually healthiest for our body and minds. We have little sense of community. We sit all day, we eat fake food. We're increasingly divorced from our sense of purpose. All of which are life-sustaining and fulfilling properties, clearly as demonstrated by the people of the Blue Zones that we just keep moving further and further away from. And you know, obviously the people of the Blue Zones didn't set out to be 100 years old. They didn't try to live their healthiest lifestyle. They had an environment that kind of effortlessly guided them in that direction. But that doesn't mean that that's, that it's not something that we can reverse engineer for our own lives. And I hope that that's how the video makes you feel and not like the opposite. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>